Welcome to Date with Banu right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today I'm speaking to a mixed bag of people. One is from India, the other one is from Mars, and the third one is a talented singer. Let's speak more about this on the show. Hi, I'm Melissa from Colombo. And I'm Rian from Mumbai, and we are going on a date with Danu. Hi guys, this is Koshis. Today I will be going on a date with Danu along with Rian and Melissa. I think that I can hear Danu's laughter all the way in Mumbai and sometimes when I sleep in my dreams slash nightmares, it literally wakes me up that, that witch-like laughter. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be as mean as him. <laughs> um, but um, I, do, I do hate that he has better makeup than I do. Yeah, this is true. Flawless skin. <laughs> and the puff. Oh yeah, I was trying to go for the puff today, but I think I failed. Yeah. Oh God, so Danu, uh, today I'm going to be the biggest bitch in your show. That sweet coat is not there because I'm going to be so bitchy to you because you're bitchy to me everywhere that I go. But I love you, Danu. See you. And so we have our guest. Melissa, say hi. Hi, everyone. She's the one who sings a rap about Sri Lanka if you are trying to put her face because her hair looks different today. Just a little bit. Yeah. Then we have Rian George all the way from Hi. India who has, who has adopted Sri Lanka as his second home. He's literally the bridge that people have walked on to connect both nations together and see the similarities. Yeah. And he has fallen in love with Sri Lanka. Yeah. And then we have all the way from Mars, we have Kosh. Hi guys. Whose space suit is that? It's not a space suit, it's a really cool outfit. I liked you when you came with the whole helmet on as well. You looked really nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Will this hair look good in a helmet? Actually, no, I couldn't see you, that's why I liked it. hair a helmet? No. No, no, no. I said when, calling he came, when he was walking in. Oh, yeah. Because I came in my like rocket or whatever. It was no. spaceship or something. I know where the rocket is. <laughs> Thank God, Tanu. I know where that started. rocket is parked. <laughs> Thank God, <Tanu. laughs> Just started the show. And you're going it right never there. took off. It never took off. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. To start things off, so Rian and Kosh have been friends. Rian and Melissa are friends. So, as you would have seen, I used past tense and present tense. So, let's speak about y'all are friends. Tell me about it. How did y'all meet? Uh, tell them how we met at a shady bar. <laughs> so, we've been friends for a very long time. Rian is one of the very few people I met first when I moved back here. Right. And it's ironic that there are people in Colombo and Sri Lanka, but she met an Indian in Sri Lanka. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it was at... Um, love bar. Love bar. Mm. At 2 a.m. In, in the morning, and somebody introduced me to him, and you know, rest is history, I guess. Yeah. How many years ago was this? Long Almost time ago. Oh, no, 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 eight years ago. About eight, eight years, years ago. Eight yeah. years ago. And does he keep in touch with you every day? Pretty much. Ten yeah. times a day. Yeah, we kind of. Does he write you saying my favorite papadang, how are you, and things like that? <laughs> I don't say that. You said my boondi and all to me. Boondi. Boondi. Uh, what is know. that? Boondi. He sings me songs. What is boondi? That potato thing. What is a boondi? Laddu. Paratha. Ah, okay. I never call her a paratha. He no, sings me songs. Ah, really? Yeah. I get Sweet. different renditions. Amazing. Yeah. Of her own songs. This right. is true. Yeah. Do you know her rap part? He doesn't know the rap. He knows my... What do I know of yours? Uh, Shari and Put It On Me. Put It On Me. I think so he put should it on sing me, that. Go very down, much. very cultural lyrics. She Just sings. sing a little bit, please. So put it on me when you go down. <laughs> but I have to tell you the funniest story. I'll tell her I'll later. <laughs> Kosh covered his ear when you're singing. See, this is how you do it. You <laughs> Those are the kind of voice notes I wake up to. Right. Yeah. But lovely lyrics. Yeah, singing was never your forte, Rian. But you are a luxury travel <laughs> blogger. Is that correct? Content creator. Content creator. He's luxury. He doesn't do anything that is below the price tag. So tell me, how do you position yourself only to luxury? 
Um, I don't know because I started off my career in India as a journalist, and um, I was covering luxury, the luxury beat of the newspaper and magazine for almost fifteen years. So kind of my you just kept it there. Just kept it there. So you ne- you will never be seen at like a paratha shop eating like every single day of my life. I no, might no, no. just not put it on Instagram. Correct. That's what. So you will never post anything that I is do, like do, normal. I do. I do. General so, life. Absolutely. I think in fact I post so much about it. Regular life, even like back in Mumbai, I'm always like. I could be one day in a driving a fancy car, making a video, and the next day I'm in a tuk. And I think that's what makes it more relatable to people. Mm. That right. while you do cover luxury, there's also a nice, relatable Side everyday to life to you. Because yeah. I don't want my content to be so curated and so perfect that it looks unrelatable. But most of the time, it is for me. Like it's just so it's luxury. I don't. Okay, I don't know about that. But <coughs> yeah, but you get a lot of amazing gifts from these partners. Yes. Yeah. Tell me what you want, Danu. I'll get for you next time. If you right. see on Insta story, say I want, and I'll get for you. Is this on record? I, yeah. I he does so. that actually. He had done that for me. He used to do that for you. Yeah, and for her also. Yeah, he brought me some nice things this time. Let's get into our segment <laughs> before we come and speak to Mars Man. <laughs> this segment is called Hot Seat. Welcome back to the show. So we have our favorite segment. It's called Hot Seat, and I'm about to ask these questions. We'll start with Kosh because I like it. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for this. Kosh. Yes. Who is better dressed, Yureni or Sachini? Sachini now. Sachini now. Yeah. As in now in this era, Sachini Ayendra. Oh, she was dressing bad before. <clears throat> I think now I think she found her style now. You know, she looks very uh, chic, elegant. Um, where like she carries her own style now. Which and Urani doesn't dress well anymore. She does, but for my taste, where with the my fashion language, I think Sachini is my pick. If you could transition into a woman, you would like to be who out of the following? Stephanie Sirivardana, Malsha, Dinakshi, Priyasa. I would be Dinakshi because Sarang is there. Right. <laughs> if you could be a fly on the wall, out of the two seated next to you, whose wall would you like to land on? <laughs> Can I play the fifth? Hmm? No, you have to answer. This. You have. It's hot seat. You gotta answer. Can you repeat the question again? If you, if you are a fly, okay. Whose wall would you like to land on? I mean. Since I know most about him, I'll go to Malisa so I can just see oh what no. she's doing. <laughs> Be careful. I know it. <laughs> okay, that's kosher. The most fashionable man you know: Shalin, Ayesh, Kamil, Rian, George, Danu. One person. Mm. I would say Shalin. If you. Had to lose one sense to save your life. Which sense would are you willing to give up on? Smell. Good. Then you don't need to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Watch what? Wash. She. De- don't go there. Don't. Elaborate. Ah yes. Best pickup line used on you. I don't even remember the last time one was used on me. Pass. Can you pass? You can't no, you pass. pass. Oh, I can't pass. Yeah, can't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about that airport thing? What airport thing? <laughs> I don't. What airport thing? What airport thing? I don't know what airport. I think it's a Japan Japanese airport. I don't know. Say it. No, no, no. Uh, when when Danu uh, complimented me on my. Yeah. I said, those buns are oh, nice. Yeah, Would you like happened. some cream? Yeah, that just happened. That's okay, good, that's, that's the best pickup line. Yeah. Well done. Good job, Danny. Those buns are nice. Would you like some cream? Who <laughs> thought? Uh, Kosh, tell me what what was the pickup line with the? I can't remember because you know, like Keith has so many things, so like, I can't remember. What right. would you say to the men who don't find you attractive? Thank God. <laughs> 
<coughs> if you were stuck in an elevator with the following people, what would you do? You are stuck with Kosh, Rafaela, Nimi Harisgama and Ayesh. Ayesh and I would be talking about watches and cars. Nimi and I would be laughing loudly. Uh, who's the third person? Rafaela. Rafaela and I would be talking about Bollywood celebrities and I would be beating up Kosh. Done. What would you say is your most attractive asset? Asset. Yes. He just said it. And you said I just it. said it. You said it. <laughs> Can you turn around and say it? No, can <laughs> We have powdered the wrong face. <laughs> if you could rap about Rian, what would your starting line be? Oh, I'm done with my hot seat? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got off easy here. Yeah. My starting line? Probably like, hi, my sexual trashy. Probably. Uh <laughs> what? <laughs> if you had to give up your voice your to save a life, oh. who's who from the following would you actually save? Hironika, Kosh, Rosie, and Rian. If I had to give up my voice, Rian. Sister <laughs> Rosie. No, the May of the. If you can switch places with an animal. Apart from a dog, which animal and why? I would say probably like an orca. No what? Okay. You don't like my answer? No, no, that's fine. It's just <laughs> how the face? I know. <laughs> Give the two people next to you a breed of dogs to represent their personalities <laughs> oh. and looks. Uh. Rian, I think like he's a Bernese mountain dog for sure. What? A Bernese mountain dog. Do you know what is that? No, I don't know what that is. He he also don't I hope know. that's nice. Okay, it that's is okay. nice, it's nice. And I would say Kosh? for Kosh, probably like a stray. No, like a Chihuahua like a or a Jack Russell. Chihuahua, yeah, I yeah. can like put in a pocket and take somewhere, like a bear. Yes. No, like a bear French dog. Poodles have that like puff that. on the hair, no? No, no, yeah. he's a Chihuahua. Do I have puff sure. on my hair, no? But Curly puff thing? Or like a Jack Russell. It's my natural hair. Huh? Yeah. Or like nice. a Jack Russell. Thank you. Congratulations, uh, Melissa, you are the winner. Uh, Rian, because he passed on questions. <laughs> and Kosh. And Kosh, because he thinks uh, who Charlene is well dressed, go and bloody ask him. You Thank walk you. away with a gift bag from Crystal Luxury Wellness. We're going to break <laughs> oh my with God, you that's my <laughs> 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 You have been uh, very busy recently. You have done a few foreign trips. You have marketed some more talent. So tell me, what exactly do you do? So I started as a designer in this industry 10 years, uh, 2010, and then joined the agency Sri Lanka thanks to Adam Flemming Caldera. And Adam? Yes, Adam. Uh, I was backstage. I was a backstage volunteer at Fashion Week, and Adam wanted me to work Fashion Week. Introduced me to Anjali, and I started working for uh, Fashion Week and then the agency. And then. Um, so, is Adam who picked you into this industry? Yeah. He's here in Sri Lanka now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and then I, um, work, I was working with the agency for some time, and then I became a stylist with Manasha. So, now I'm the CEO of the agency Sri Lanka, acting CEO. And, but uh, who is the real CEO? <laughs> well, Anjali is, <laughs> is the real CEO, but because she is on machinery leave, so I'm oh, okay. acting on behalf of her. And um, so yeah, I recruit talent, I style, now I'm choreograph few fashion shows here on there. Wow. So tell me, like, has fashion <coughs> always been your focus, attention? I think yes, because, uh, you know, back in college and school, you know, I never felt I was, I belonged to a particular, like a friends group. Like when I joined Columbia Fashion Week backstage, I felt like this is like a place where I want to be because you know when I saw Timo, like Adam, and all this. You just wanted to be with the models, no? <laughs> Not really. Like you just accepted to be with Timo and Adam. 
And I liked it and you know it was so cool and people were speaking the same language like you know we were like all fun and you know like it and then I I I felt like I belonged there so like Where did you school? Colombo Ananda College. Ananda College. What is it Colombo Ananda? Poda Poshkarana. Colombo on in their college. No wonder you were not speaking their language man I don't think they wanted to like be at Colombo Fashion Week. Yeah. I said now they But you're friends with them still. Yeah, a few, a very few. <laughs> I well, like your reaction. It's, like it's, so, it's a new content. thing though. Like No, but I'm that. actually really scared. The Anandians are watching. Better it's guard okay. your house. I'm Kosh. Right, right. <laughs> Alisa, <laughs> tell me about somebody who actually does some work. How did you get into singing? Um, uh, ever since I think your reactions need to show up themselves. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, um, ever since I was a kid, I, would, I think I've told you this before. Yeah, I but just tell me so for the ones <laughs> who are watching. So, you, had, you were not here, you were in Singapore? Yes. No, so you were here. But no, then. I was here until about, I think, 10 or 11. Then I moved to Singapore from my middle school and high school. And then I moved to Australia. Then I moved back here. Uh, but I've always loved to like rap ever since I was like maybe like seven or eight years old but professionally I took it seriously around I would say in Australia I entered a competition and I won and then that's when my first single Believe was created and then when I moved here I would say around 2016 I worked with uh, different producers like Pasan Lee, again, Pasan Lee and again things like that and created more music and yeah you know, music does not pay, unfortunately, especially English music. Singular music does. Do you think if you only do music, apart from any other things that you're doing, do you think you can survive? I think it's important to definitely stay the course as well. Like, you have to keep yeah. doing it. And I think more than um, just music, you also have to have um, your hand in a few different things, but still as music as the main focus. So, for example, I would say, like, brand deals and... Uh, ghostwriting. So ghostwriting is something I do. I, oh, I write songs okay. for other people and things like that. So I think it's a well-rounded thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just you need to, selling yeah. your music, I don't think so. It doesn't well. work so well. Yeah. yeah. Now I have to speak to Rian because he has contacts with some big people in India. I like don't. Yes, you do. Yeah. You are like neighbors to John Abraham. <laughs> you are best friends with Arjun Kapoor. I'm not best friends with anyone. They just happen to live around. Yeah, so that's... Now, I can't help it if I live in Bollywood. They're just around. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. We are not, li we are not living in Bollywood, no? So it's kind just of interesting. We are sitting next to Kosh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we have a segment made possible by our friends at MasterCard, where life is so much more easier. You just need to tap and go. Let's get into that. So let me tell you how this game works. Mm -hmm. You walk away with this fabulous gift box from our friends at MasterCard, making all transactions so much more easier. Now what you need to do is tap the device. Don't do anything with it, just tap the device. Okay. And then the one who taps it first will get the chance to answer the question. Okay, so no Got it? Okay. What kind of questions? Like general That knowledge? is what I'm going to ask. Ah, okay. <laughs> This singer is famously called the Material Girl. Right, right, right. Madonna. Correct. <laughs> Who was Walt Disney's favorite princess? Options are Sleeping Beauty, Little Mermaid, Snow White, Cinderella. Cinderella. You have to tap. tap. You can't give answers oh. without tapping. <laughs> yes. Cinderella. Yes. <laughs> Which is the only edible food that never expires? Honey. Right, right. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Be honey. It's a very violent game. Yeah. <laughs> no need to be violent, please. <laughs> you jerked it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, mm. <laughs> she? What is happening? I don't know what. <laughs> Melissa, you need to fight for this. You're a bit scared. To be what honest. is the smallest country in the world? Vatican. Correct. What animal takes the longest naps of all? Koala. No, let me give you the options. Bears, 
snails, giraffes. Bear. I, I tapped, I tapped. Tell me, darling. Bear. No. Aww. So the snail then? Snail. Okay. Three. Zero. Zero. One. One. Congratulations, Rian. You are the lucky winner who walks away with this fabulous gift from MasterCard. I would like to also say there's a little note. They're Am I allowed for to all look? Three. You can look. You can open any box you like. There's a little note for you. Oh, there's a note for me which says, we hope you had fun. Here's a little something from us. Thank you for choosing us for your priceless experiences. And remember, we are always only one tap, tap, away. And, go, uh, tap and go away. That's cute. Thank That's you cute. for all these goodies. I know. Share. I will, I will. Of course, she's also upset. No. <laughs> It was too violent for me that game. I, I know, it's very like very intense. Yeah, especially with these two, oh my god. Can you wipe that machine before you give it to me? Because you jerked it. Let's get into a break, we'll see you right now. Welcome back to the show, it's a date with Danu and I hope you all are all having fun. Yeah. So tell me about this song that has gone super viral. I hope you did a TikTok with it, Priya. We don't have TikTok in India. That is true. Yeah. Uh, but I did an Instagram with it. Or I reposted No, that's it or a different different song. Kosh, have you done a TikTok with it? I have. I did one. You re you, but have you, you done shared a TikTok it. with us all? No, I did a. Oh my god, you should do it. I should. Much yeah. Sri Lanka. We'll do one. That Batiklo Nagambo one, Today right? we'll all yeah. do it. Yeah, I will all do it. We'll all do so it. tell me, so t this little part, it, it comes, it's a cover of a yeah. song yeah. and you took this little one rap part and just made it yours and you dedicated it to us. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So um, the cover of the song, uh, Mi Gente. So Mi Gente is a reggaeton song by J Balvin. It's not in Sri Lankan. Yeah. yeah, I thought so, <laughs> so basically, like Mi Gente means my people. So I took the cover and made it my own. So yeah. I spoke about my people. Posh, no? So cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Very nice. Sad that you don't have TikTok, Rian. You no. should open one for just Sri Lanka. When cannot, you can. no, because the, the phone is uh, registered to India. So you cannot download here. also. Uh, you Bye. can buy and gift me for Christmas. <laughs> he has like more than four phones. I'm yeah, I don't know what you're trying to do. And two iPads. Or more. Well, so tell me you about the relationship. Please keeping tab on my uh, on That's my what you technical do. device, technological. <laughs> so tell me device. how did y'all meet and how is it so intimate that y'all know about the devices that y'all own and everything? How how did y'all <coughs> meet? How did we meet through Manasha? Through Manasha, we were like the. So Manasha and they were friends like for an year. For those who don't know who Manasha is, she is also a part of a, retired the Sri Lankan community. Uh, she's she's not person. a retired stylist, she's <laughs> like a really big deal at D-Square. Where? At D-Square, Milan. So tell, so for that. Yeah, so she, she is a social media strategist and she's like the right hand of Dean, the one of the owners of uh, D-Square. Like the CEO. I'm so she's proud like of her. Okay. She's not an acting CEO. Yeah, he's the acting CEO. Yeah. If I want to get it, I can get it. I can just tell Anjali, Anjali, I just need the part. But I don't want to just have that much of responsibility. That is fair. Because I love travel. Yeah. So now tell me about the friendship, how you all met. Ten years ago or more. He gets very fed up when I call him in the day. Yeah. I'll show you my WhatsApp calls. I have, for a day, at least like uh, 90 calls, like nine zero. That's when he doesn't answer the calls. Okay. Yeah, so well, like that. both have a lot of time in your hands. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he does because like sometimes like, you know, oh my God, during the uh, lockdown, it was, um, I couldn't take it. I had to just make a lot So that's why you all stopped talking during that time? No, we are not, we, not talking. We, we didn't stop talking. But apparently from August, you all have had no conversation till this show. And I'm very happy yeah. that I'm able to be the mediator who patched this rough like relationship our, that has gone yeah, south. Yeah, the therapy. Yeah. I say no, I think I got busy with like my, uh, my tours and you know he was busy with... And he's with become very posh now traveling abroad to all these fancy... Posh posh. Anyways I travel. Posh, posh Kosh. Posh Oh my god, that's a hashtag for you. Posh Kosh. <laughs> yeah. Posh I mean I've been traveling... <laughs> <laughs> you know back in the day I did like so many tours in Europe and you know I, now I'm mostly doing East Asia. Ah okay. And why specifically East Asia? Because I'm obsessed with them and Korea may... East Asia. May, Southeast Asia, like oh. Korea, Japan. So Korea, I go because like me and Kalpani Gunavadan, we are like uh, co uh, people who works with um, Asian Fashion Festival, Asian Model Festival. So we do Face of Sri Lanka, and then we take talent from here uh, to um, Face of Asia. 
and um, then the other certain trips that I, did, I was in Malaysia uh, again like some one of my models had a gig there so I have to uh, go and I style that shoot so so I travel for work and I travel for pageants and I have certain pageants I'm national director so okay now now that you style for shoots tell me now we had a shoot and what would you like to style like what would you do different with me oh I always want to style you but you never let me yeah true but I just want why to not no, I just want to know what would you do differently. No, no, don't avoid the question. Why don't you let no, me? No, I have never been asked. Yeah. I asked you twice. Okay, so tell me today, what would you change? Nothing. I like your outfit. It's nice. I like your uh, La Palpina. I like your pocket square. It's cool. The tie. You, you, you're blending you really believe well. what he's saying? No. I... Why what? do you think I gifted you like pocket squares? One. Yeah. Two. One. I gave you two pocket squares. Which I have given you. Yeah, one which I have gifted him. He <laughs> gifted to you, mind yeah, you. Because Rian, I don't wear braces. You shouldn't give me. I can't say I'm wearing braces right now. But I just got one from him. No, so two. you can thank me for it. Thank you. We no. have a segment that is called Yes or No. And we have... Uh, Another game, another way to win something. Our friends at Celeste are also part of uh, the uh, Roy Tho and they have come up with this such a cool concept where you can order while you're at the match and it'll be delivered to you to whatever stand you're at. How cool is that? You don't know what a big match is, no? I do. Oh. I've been here for 12 years in this yeah. country, so but I know. India, do you all have big matches? No, don't no, have. no. We have the IPL. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice that you know about cricket. I don't know anything. Do you know it. cricket? You know cricket is a game. That I know. I he styled played? Brett Lee and I didn't know who that was. You the styled Australian who? Australian bowler. You For styled him? Yeah, I styled him. He plays cricket also. Being yeah. thrown around in bed is not cricket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Melissa, are you ready, my darling? Yes, Such I'm a ready. Such good girl. Giving, giving the balance the show needs. <laughs> All right. You're very welcome. <laughs> here we go. Would you give up social media for an year? Have you ever overheard something you wish you had? What is it? Oh my God, don't, don't ask that. It's, it's, it's something that I cannot t say on TV. It's okay, tell me. I'll tell you later. But tell me now. Just in some way. Like I would say, like, I'm not going to say names or anything. It's like yeah. A married person uh. was flirting with uh, another person, and I'm friends with the significant other. Hold on. The man was flirting with you? Not with me, with someone else. The man was flirting with another woman? Oh, man, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Colombo is scandalous, I tell oh, you. Oh, it's not Colombo. Then where? It, it, was in, it, it, was, it was in Paris. <laughs> As if we care about Paris. I know. Uh, please, it's not <coughs> okay, at Paris, all. Paris, Sri Lankans, though. <laughs> please, we don't care about them. What is Paris, Sri Lankan? <laughs> yeah. Like how you call yourself an Indian Sri Lankan? Same what is Paris, Sri Lankan? The so posh Mar one. Marisa, tell me what did you over here. You don't want to say it. I mean, it's, the, it's a general answer, ah, right. yes. Have you ever been catfished? <laughs> really? <laughs> Who? So you know, there's this lovely little app called like Tinder and yes. Bumble. Yeah, I'm there. No way. <laughs> yes. Did you like give anything? No. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. No, no. No, Just there are a lot of people who like do this whole money scam. No, it's like they say like there's some like foreigner with like a f very like Exotic different name, name and all, yeah. you know, and then it's just like some Sri Lankan old guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> More like, yeah, it's like a person, it's not in a dating way. This person like emailed me, want to be a model. And then um, when we have the meeting, this person came and was ringing the bell so we can see it from the screen. And You went to his house? No, it's in an office. Uh, it, I said, <laughs> it's not a dating thing. Right. Catfish as in a career wise. And this like, 
a person came who cannot be a model at all, and I had to be very nice to her. Like, you know, listen, like, you know, you can be an actor. That is not being catfish. But so that is catfish. The pictures were like, you know, also like, like nice, the jaw yeah. and Did they come to you, or yeah, you went? Yeah. To you went to their house. Yeah, and I just said they came to the office. Oh. Have you ever used your power? No. I know. Yeah, you're going with that. No. <laughs> Have you ever not made it to the toilet? Have you ever not hmm? made it to the toilet? No. Have you ever not made like it to the toilet? Like pooped your pants. Have you ever pooped your pants? Oh. I, mean, I have. <laughs> as an adult? Semi-adult. Have you shared food when you're out for a meal? I have a shared food. Yeah. Okay. Do you keep other secrets well? <laughs> yeah. I promise you, even Daily Mirror can't publish it the way Coach will. <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> it's hot news off the rack. Do you believe in manifestation? Yes. Do you believe there are genuine people in this world? Yes. No. Hey. Hey, Coach, I think we are genuine. I, no one you is associate genuine. with people or not? That's no, your problem. Not everyone is like. No, <laughs> I don't think anyone is like hundred percent genuine. Oh, I am. But there are genuine people. We are. No. You have to look for them. Yeah, you have to look for you. Are <laughs> and lots dealing, of them around. Yeah, and you're dealing with they, the worst kind. Yeah. So I deal with the same people that you deal with, no? Yeah, but I don't call. I don't, They are not my friends. Like you, I deal with. I know you're not my friend. We actually, we are not. <laughs> we are like, you know, hi, Danu, hi, Kosh, bye. Actually, Danu doesn't even say hi. <laughs> is it better to give than receive? But this is, this, how is this? A how does one answer this? Yes and no. Better to give, give than receive. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. good. I'm sure, Kosh, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's my. <laughs> it's mine, Danu, it's mine. Give it to me. Actually, all three are winners. <laughs> there are no winners and losers in life. You have yeah, to say that. Speech. That is what. There are no winners and losers. Oh, shut up, I really hope that you find genuine friends, Kosh. Yeah, that's yeah? sad. That's and, true. Yeah. yeah, and because of that, I'm giving this to you, so that you will find genuine friends who you can share this with. Thanks. So, uh, I thought you were going to give it to all three no, of us. Yeah. Yeah. No, what, what is I was inside? What is inside? See, I was trying to see whether he'll share with you. He won't. What is inside? <laughs> A lot of things. Yeah, I have shared so many things with uh, you. Yeah, I did a great job. Yeah, I think you, you never did. give yeah. me any tea, coffee, so. Anyway, we all solved this out. We have to get into a break. We'll see you all. <laughs> This time we do the segment called Dish the Dirt. Rian, have you ever heard people disliking you? Yes, of course, all the time. Here in Colombo? Yeah. Why is that? You are somebody who makes a visit, that's about it. I don't know. And you have dealt with them? Have you met them? I just avoid and ignore. Have you heard of these people? Yes, of course. Ah, really? Who has told you this? Kosh. Common friends, Kosh. <laughs> yeah. I've also heard, and I was always very shocked about the fact that why would they. Like. No, I'm not going to say anything. Say it, Kosh. No, I think it's because, you know, like, the way he carries himself, which is, like, you know, very, like, professional and everything, like, you know. But he's only very close, like, bubbly and nice with, like, his close friends. But the outside people, they don't know what kind of personality he is. So maybe they think he's... And also I think that because I just had like the same four or five friends in Colombo for the last so many years, like... Yeah. Like people would always be like, why are you only hanging out with him and why but are you But you were not, right? From him? August, you were not hanging out with him? Who yeah, said but that? We do, I mean, whatever it is. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I wished for his New Year and like Christmas Yeah, you didn't wish me, huh? I wished you. I wished you. Ah. You know what Kosh said when I said that you're coming on the show? What, what, what? Oh. I don't talk to him, but That's I'm fine. okay. 
But I why said, Kaushik? We haven't spoken. Anyway, she's here to balance it out. No, she is, she's the guest who I really wanted to be on the show. Thank you. How do you handle friendship, Melissa? Have you ever found a true friend? She's very, yeah. can I just say, she's a very, very, very loyal person. She's like, I mean, Thank once you. you get close and once you're friends with her, she'll really make that effort. Like, That's even nice. if you're super busy, I think no matter where, like, she'll at least send a hi or some random sh random stuff on DM just to know that she's around. Yeah. Um, I do have a very close set of friends. Very, I would say, I mean, there's no specific best friends, just a group of very, very close friends like Rian. And honestly, it's just ex extremely genuine, right? So anything outside of that, like... Just acquaintances. Yeah. Of course, in this world of modeling, there are so many people who are providing models, who are, you know, misusing their positions. What would you tell them? And you know these people. They might have come to the agency saying, can it be professional? But to be very honest, I've always recommended Kosh um, as an agency to go and work with because I know there's accountability for people who walk in there. And that is something that's very important, which is genuine. So, uh... As, a, as an example, like if they come to me and I, uh, I have this uh, habit of like you know where I, like I don't want to break people's heart. So, because um, you know the things, if someone comes to be a model or like a some sort of talent, like if they don't have, you broke it, that catfishing person's heart. But I made made his heart saying that you can be an actor because you know for, to be an actor, like you know you don't have to have certain looks. If you just have to have the talent, so I said just go get trained and you know become an actor. You know, and then, but when it comes to modeling, like the whole stereotypical thing we have, mm -hmm. it's like you have to have a certain look and a like this, this thing, which is vale, also vale. changing in this market now. I disagree. Now. Yes, no. Pretty good. No? I disagree. Huh? I think now in the whole, you bring everyone to kind of gather. Like there are so many different cate categories in modeling now, so I think. It's not one size fits all anymore. Yeah. No, it's not but the this size. Is the face. I, no, it's not the size I'm talking about. Uh -huh. You know, to be a model, you know, as an example, I can't be a doctor even though I just love to do medicine and stuff. Modeling is a talent as well. What is I love to do. So he didn't have the talent. You're what saying? is it supposed to mean? Does he? You can study confused. to be a doctor. You don't need to be a talent. Oh, no, you, need you to need be brainy, have the, no? Yeah, brainy. Uh, brain, that. brain is talent. Like no, so wait, am I, am I question? I'm confused because did you tell him that he doesn't look the part or he's not talented? No, it's basically like. Being in the industry for 14 years, I can okay. tell them, you know, like whether the market is correct for him or not, or her. So like, you know, because we had like these tall, skinny girls who can't perform in front of a camera. And I don't represent that because that reflects my company. Where are you the acting CEO? <laughs> you have to air quote it. Yeah. Or you can call the head of operations. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to ask you, out of the three of us, who would you put on the ramp? I have seen your ramp, and I you with uh, you have walked well with suits and like uh, Nilami suits and everything. So I think I would put you. But as a girl, obviously Melissa has the face and like she carries herself as a good at personality. So I put Melissa as a thing. No. As in, I know he's not going to like it. That's not the point. But no. Rian will be a good, he knows uh, he's a photo, he will, because he, he did few bank campaigns with us as well back in the day, like, you know, he's good with like photo shoots, but not runway. That's a difference between me, me and my agency is because I'm blunt and I'm really, I will tell you to the face. Yeah. But then I will try to fix it. Fix it as like be kind, yeah. yeah. So. Let's Apparently. get into this segment, it's called Kinky. All right, welcome back to the show. This segment is made possible by our friends at Midnight Divas. Frequent fly, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. <laughs> uh, and also, I would like to let everyone know, I've known Kosh for a long time. Um, and if this may come out rude, it's oh, yeah. not. This is our relationship. Yeah. Mel, are you ready? Good. Sure. You have, you have, you can you use this if you win it? Well, I want to watch inside. There's also self help for you. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. We consider everyone. Thought. <laughs> Kosh. Yes. Do you like it when your partner is the dominant one in bed or do you prefer leading things? 
I want him to be the dumb man. <laughs> My God! I know. I mean, he looking, wasted I'm no time. I'm answering all these sex questions, huh, by the way. I'll ask I'm it for you. I'm asking you a very simple question. Ah, yes, Have you ever been to a sex party? No. Never. No. How is that a simple question? <laughs> How is that a simple question? Go, shall we go for a sex party? Melissa, take me to a sex party, please. Okay. I want to write. Go about to any it. party that Coach is at. Well, ask Dana. I'm sure he knows. Take us to sex parties take that you go to, no? <laughs> I need to first have sex to go for a party. Uh, right. Which would you rather give up for an year? Sex or alcohol? Alcohol. Good answer. Kosh, your last question. Do you prefer hair or all bare? <laughs> hair. Congratulations, Kosh. You <laughs> are the lucky <laughs> who walks away with the <laughs> gift. Uh, use it wisely. Wisely. <laughs> Frequently. Give it yeah. to me. <laughs> I want to know what's in there. You can see it. You can. Yeah. Can you open it, Kosh? Can we, wait, can oh, we open it? Yeah, you can open it. You can do whatever you want. so much work to open it. And I just open it. I'm sure you have opened harder things than that. <laughs> so there's a rumor in Columbus, Kosh, that you have jumped on someone. Is it true? No. It was a mutual thing. You see, it right? is. It was a. I can tell you. It was a drunken mistake, I think. It's a mistake. Yeah. And like, did he appreciate it or no? I don't think we... Who we would not want an acting CEO <laughs> jump on them? <laughs> I, <don't think laughs> I want to see. You can see, but I can't see. Oh, my. Why don't show me as well? I'm pretty sure you have seen it. Mm. What is that? Wow. <laughs> is that enough for you, Kosh? I mm. like this. <laughs> I think you can use it. I'll use it later. Now, is he supposed to share that with his friends? I don't know whether you can share that. Just with him, basically. social media platform Facebook. Oh my God. I must say Rian has done great job in promoting Sri Lanka to the world and also to India. I think he has uh, created so much of content with nothing in return expected. Uh, recently, I saw a video like top 10 Instagrammable places in Colombo. It's really nice to know somebody who really falls in love with the country. Uh, and you feel like you are part of the soil, although you are not. Uh, but it's really Thank nice. Thank you. Uh, thanks for doing what you do for us. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. It's really nice. I've said two good things about each one of you. Thank you. So before you became this luxury content writer, um, what were you doing? Uh, Did you ever want to be a steward? Steward? Cabin. I was. Cabin. You were for a cabin? A year. For a year, yes. For Indian Air? Yes. We have a beautiful in uh, what's that safety video now? Now, yes. Absolutely With the gorgeous. Dance and yeah. Brilliant. And who is doing their new wardrobe? Is uh, their wardrobe? Manish into, Malhotra. Yeah. Your friend, right? Who you don't want to connect me to? That's fine. You do a good job. Oh, that's such a lovely picture. That was a tea party at my house. <laughs> and you serve tea like this to everyone who comes? Yeah, it's a tea service in the afternoon. You don't know. Serve people I have never coffee. served tea for people. I've asked them to just take it and drink Mind, it. Might I also add that I have known Kosh for eight years. He's never offered me a tea coffee like... I said, I'm not going to make and give it to you. Like, you know, I'll take you to a cafe and I'll way to do, no? That's true. I don't think he even he has a pot like that. He won't give him tea coffee in a car. Like when, we're when go, people we were come to your house, you don't serve them tea like this? You didn't ask. We don't serve it like that. We what? make it, uh, well, we do And then we, we keep we the tray actually. and they can make it themselves. Ah, okay. I like to serve. All right, okay. Is it Melissa? Yeah. Young baby oh. Melissa. Yeah. Tell me about this picture. 
So this was actually, I think, my 14th birthday mm. in Singapore. This was unfortunately the last birthday I spent with my dad. Yeah. So sorry. He passed away shortly after that. One of my favorite That's photos. A beautiful photo. Yeah, it's in my wallet. Lovely. It's a very nice picture. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Who is that? I thought I'm blocked. Why do you hide or whatever those? Oh my god, no. Nanu, you want to send me this picture on WhatsApp? I'll give it to you. No. It's in our emails. I'll send it to you Thanks. as well. Just, <laughs> Kosh, would you like to tell me? Uh, like, who dressed you? Uh, that was like, no. oh my god. No. Can because you you're wearing a part there? of Shreena Palace and somebody's curtain. <laughs> wow. I don't, I'm pretty sure it was, ugh, you know, just throw it Very thing. nice, beautiful. No, it's not. And what's the up road, with this? Give it to him. Man. The road to acting CEO is paved <laughs> with many poor fashion I'll choices. this one. You see this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, I actually thought I like, ugh. I love this, I'm going to keep it. Who is that? Ooh. That's me. Oh, okay then. Really? Such a cool look. Thank Have you. you ever tried to go back to it? Um, maybe again at some point. But I, uh, the reason I cut it this short is because I donated my hair in, in Sydney uh, for people who need wigs for cancer. <laughs> this girl is just the epitome of niceness, man. Y'all are just wretched. Here, don't spread rumors, huh? Who is this person? Some <laughs> random taxi guy in Paris. I remember this <laughs> night. I was. <laughs> Why were you taking pictures with a random Paris taxi guy? My friends were sitting at the back. We were but on a both holiday. Both of y'all look very happy. I thought you were partners. No, no. We, I don't know who this person was. This was this back in 2017? No. no. Much earlier. Must have been 2005 or something. Yeah. Good Lord, I was in grade two. Were you... Did you have a pass that was creepy? <laughs> From you, not me. <laughs> were you the creepy neighbor people said, don't go near his house? Show me the photo and I'll tell you. Beautiful. Stunning. You look really scared. Just like a wow. But I was drunk. Yeah, but you look like I don't want to come close drunk. to you. Yeah, this is when I was 20 I in New York on a holiday. I still have that t-shirt. I still wear it. So, you were you a part of a band, Kosh? <laughs> Colombo Ananda, right? You went to? Am I If there? you can't see Kosh, that's because... <laughs> That's the darkest spot. It's, he's here. <laughs> what oh, that was, was big match. And what are you doing? You went to big match. <laughs> I was dragged into like it was like my, my friends. I'm so you confused. were in drag. No, they dragged me into like. <laughs> and I'm going this year also. Anne, please look at this picture. Look at how sexy you are looking at them. Am I, I looking quite close? Yeah. Oh, very. close friends. So, Kosh, what was your past like? I kind of saw that picture. That was a cow I rescued, and I was just looking at the cow. I see. I collected money, um, and I rescued, rescued a cow. The because cow my is still was trying to run away. No, because my friend was go going through like a illness, and you know, like the auspicious people told me to just rescue a cow, and I did it. For and where is the cow now? He's still in that temple, I think. Oh, that's amazing. The cow is a her. Yeah. Oh, it's a her. That cow looks like she wants to run. <laughs> yeah, because that was right after we bought him from the... Aww. Who is this? Koshika. Aww. Koshika looks Can so I sweet. tell something? When I, uh, when, so when I was after... Because that, that was Columbus South International. So I was in Montessori. Uh. And um, so when my, uh, the teachers asked my parents what school he's going to, uh, what, what school Ko, uh, Koshi is going to, and then they were like, Ananda. So all of them thought that I was a girl. Aww, cute. You Actually, think Kosh, Kosh still uses this as like a naughty sailor costume? Must be, must be still wearing it. Now it must be tight and fitted like okay. what you're wearing backless. right now. backless. <laughs> Back. Yeah, backless and all. <laughs> that's you? No, no that's Malise. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's Not everything backless is Kosh. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was, I was... Cultural dance show yeah. at school. <laughs> I was um, pretending to do a music video and I got my <laughs> friend to film it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And I love the dress. It was like... It's yeah, you really love your nice. hair. Thank you. That was before I shaved it. So, it was long. 
Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Is that editor? No, he's he has followed the chair or something. I was a chair. <laughs> you were a chair. Yeah. Tell me about Halloween? this. Halloween? Who was sitting on you? Priya? What is this? <laughs> this is when Photoshop had just come out, by the way. That's how old I am. And right. like, people in my office had done this. Because I was wearing the same color t-shirt as the chair. Right. Listen, yeah. this also, I love this picture. Like you can have it. Kosh, what happened soon after this photograph? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened. They're school friends. You are literally stuck between their two armpits. Maybe Ooh. that's why my face is like. Who are they? <laughs> school friends. Those are the few that I still talk to. Ah, uh, that's my sister's wedding. I was my. Uh, so that's Melanie, um, and that's Michelle. She was getting married. Both your sisters? Yeah. Oh, that's me and my dad. Ah, uh -huh, so cute. You look annoyed. <laughs> I was always annoyed when I was. You still so make this face? Yeah, I was in. We were on holiday <laughs> in Australia. Darling, you know Rian's uh, Sri Lankan name? Ruan Joja Sekara. <laughs> Great. Now, if you. Uh, you can speak to animals, more or less, to dogs. I help people with their dogs. Oh, yeah. Yes. And how is that business going? There are a lot of people who want that service here? Um, definitely a niche sort of yeah. market. Um, but yeah, the, it's, there are quite a few people who need help and they do reach out to me. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, so Melissa, I wish you only the best in terms of what you hope to do in future, in terms of music. Thank you. Um, I really hope that you, you know, branch out and do great stuff and Coach will do a music video, style you. Yeah, so that would be great. Yeah. And Rian could And I can write video. some cultural lyrics like put it on me when you get down, when you go down. Sh sure. Huh. What? Her lyrics? Yep. She will do that. Yeah. She's really good at it. Okay. You just anyway, <laughs> and thank you for having me on the show. I really appreciate but it. But has uh, Rian ever tried to take your music to India, show it to a few people? He has shown other people songs that are not my songs, saying that they are That's my songs. <laughs> so I think that's a start. That's a start. Yeah. Yeah. So now have you all made up? Yes. We, I mean, we will never. Hands? Can you hold hands? And this Aww. is on TV. Yeah. How sweet. Well, I wish you all the very best. I hope you enjoy the show. Yes. There was very a happy so. ending. Yeah. What? <laughs> Coach. I said shake only the hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy that you all have patched up and made up. Thank you for being Thank our Thank you therapy. for having us. Coach, would you come on the show again? Yes. Oh, that's amazing. See? That's, I just wanted to know whether you were happy still. On I that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so very much to all who are part of this show. And we will see you again. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap.